God bless you beautiful people on YouTube and Facebook this morning. Well, this is Saturday morning. My God, I got up this morning just thanking God because how blessed I am and how he's taking care of me as uh, far as my health and my body. My God, and it's good to look good in the morning. Isn't that a blessing? Smelling good, looking good. That's what God wants us to be and be happy. That's what we want to be. Well, I was watching something earlier this morning, about 4 o'clock this morning. I was watching uh, the Jamie Foxx and Ray Charles making the movie together. And it was saying how uh, Ray Charles was so hard on Jamie Foxx at the beginning. And the producer uh, the uh, uh, that's going to be over the film, the director of it, was saying, Oh, no, Jamie's going to quit. He's not going to take this from Ray Charles. And Jamie Foxx hung right in there. And it was saying how... Jamie Foxx had to be blind for 14 hours. I just want you guys to do a little test on yourself. Even while you're watching this, just close your eyes for a moment. And think about why your eyes closed that you can't see your husband's face anymore. Can't see your wife's face. Can't see your children's face, your niece's nephew, your mom or dad. You're blind. Everything that you used to see, now you can't see it. Are you there? Are you that deep? Because I don't have that a lot of time, so I need to take you deep first. So that's what I'm doing. You're blind. We're not speaking anything, devil. You don't have no power. Paul said do demonstrations. So that's what we're doing. Have you got it? I couldn't even reach and find my coffee. There it is. I'd have to feel around on my tablets right here. I couldn't read it. I would have to do it in braille that where I read off off the little knobby things on the paper y'all know what I'm talking about did you see that did you feel that that's blind so when you get up in the morning and you say you're not blessed somebody is blind today somebody lost I've been talking to a lady and I guess this is why God had me going out and I saw this lady twice I saw her at Walmart so we talked about 20 minutes and then I saw her yesterday at J.C. Penney's. Saw her again. Not a whole conversation was about her husband went to the doctor. And there was something going on with his eye. And find out they sent him home quick due to the COVID and stuff. And now he can't see out of that eye. And uh, he's in his 70s. So he had his eyesight all his life. And uh, the wife is saying how he's going through. Now, if you can imagine that being blind, even out of one eye, uh, it throws your balance off. It's just terrible. I did it last night for a little while, just tried to walk around the house uh, uh, being blind. Uh, so what we're going to talk about today, it talks about uh, the watchmen and how we are watchmen. And when you're a pastor, you are the watchman over your church. You are supposed to be able to discern spirits come that's why i closed the church a lot of people don't understand that but i have a direct order from god to close it he said go to the highways byways and hedges and preach the gospel your gift is the streets now this is this message what i'm telling you this is not for anyone else i'm telling you what god told me and as a man of god i have to do the orders of god and not people or man because people and man and people give you hell God to give you glory and victory. Is that good news? That's good news. Um, so I already know when when I do something, I can feel it somewhere God lets me know if I'm operating on what he wants me to do, if that makes sense. But I am the watchman over my church. And, and then church people sometimes, especially when the COVID hit, uh, I had to make sure my church, my, 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 my church people or wasn't like little puppies. Look, you see little cute puppies, you got them in the pen, but one of them got out and the other one piggybacked off of him and they all got out. So you got eight puppies and six of them is out. So you gotta go gathering them little puppies up. Can you see it? And that's what pastors have to do at their church. You have to be watchmen over them. You gotta be able to see the trick in enemy. See, when this started off a couple years ago, I just think we should have dropped religion. We should have dropped uh, Democrat or Republican, and just all join hands and pray. Everybody should have went on a fast, like when Jonah was supposed to go and preach the gospel, and he didn't. 
and he fleed and went somewhere else in the Bible. It's in there. You can quote me. And, and But the Bible says that that king over that town put the whole city on a fast and even said that the cattle, the livestock was not eaten. And if we had it did that and grab home, it didn't matter whether we grab hands, whether you're Democrat or Republican, black, white, green, with the antennas, it would not make any difference if we had to put the love together and not separate it. Let me tell you what religion is. There's no scriptures in the Bible that talks about religion. Well, it talks about religion, but it don't want you to get all hung up. Well, I'm Catholic. I'm Protestant. I'm Jehovah Witness. I'm Church of God in Christ. I'm Bapchi, I'm TP, I'm Wap Wap. Uh, all of these different, that is just something that I said, Wap Wap. I think I did. I don't know what that religion is. But, <clears throat> so, we have to be so careful about how the devil's trying to separate us in the same way he's doing with the family. The men is not in the house, the women is raising children. It's, it's, it's a mess the way the devil has us, and we got to get back on track. And so, here's the thing. Let me say this. If the roof fall, for God, for God it forbid it don't, but if it fall and had my arm trapped, and out here at the apartment complex where I'm at, I'm waiting for somebody that's Pentecostal and pup Republican to help me. Excuse me, uh, my arm is caught under this wall, and I, it's, cr it's crushing the blood out of it. Uh, I just wanted to ask you a question. Are you Democrat or are you Republican? Are you black or are you mixed because you look light-skinned? Yeah, my arm is really stuck. I, I, I don't know if it's halfway off or not, but I just need to know if there's anybody in this room that can help me that's uh, Republican. You all Democrat? Okay. Don't that sound silly? God even said, come on now, y'all get off that religion. Even when they was trying to talk about the Sabbath day. What man works on the Sabbath day? When Jesus come back and said, if, if your ass was well, talking about uh, of your mule get caught in a hole, so you're going to leave it there until the next day because of the Sabbath day? He said, well, come on, have some sense. So we're talking about blind. We're talking about watchmen. What is a watchman? Back biblical days, also, they watchmen over the tower. They was watchmen that watched to see if any trick of the enemy is coming. They had to discern where these people coming to sell spices or was they coming to get inside of their camp to help destroy them. They was watchmen. They were spies watchmen that was called watchmen that they would send them out earlier in the morning and watch on the enemy and come back and give a report what they're doing. Well, that's what we have to do in our families. Moms and dad, you guys got to be better watchmen. Your children is running all over the place. Like You can quote me, and in the Bible it said that in my house we shall serve the Lord. It's too many Christian people that's allowing too many people to lay in their house also that don't go to church. Well, church don't make you. Yes, it do. You have to start off there. God leads you to the church. Because the church is closed, that don't mean you don't need the church. You just got to have the Lord in you, which you are the church. You go into the building, which we call the church. But God wants you to be the church, if that makes any sense. So I'm done with that. You don't need to go to church. You need to go to church. That gets you a start. If you're going to go to college, you got to attend the classes. If you're going to go to be a doctor, you got to go to school. If you're going to go to be a lawyer, you got to go to school. If you're going to be a manager, you got to study to be a manager. How do you want to be do God, but you don't want to do nothing to get closer to him? This is what he's telling him. Be a watchman over your life. You, as parents, you got to watch your children. Do you know where your children was last night? I know they're 18, 19, 20. But they don't, they're your children, and you have a responsibility under if they living under your roof until they get a mortgage. You tell them what to do in your house. Come on, don't let the children run you. Run the children. It's God, then man, then woman is over the children. And then she's a helpmate to the husband. And the husband is a helpmate to her. We're watching over this family. Where's she going? Where she say she's going? Mm -mm, tell her she's not going. That's the father. She's not going there. What Didn't they shoot at that party the other weekend? Are you going there? No, no, you're not. 
Mm -mm. And what is that you got on? Honey, come here. Let me talk to you first. Sweetie. Now you're going to sit in our daughter. She's 17. I can see her prints of her body. And you letting her go out of here like that? What's wrong with you? That's what a watchman is. That's a father of a house. Come on. Not being jealous because he's looking at the daughter because he know he did all things crazy to, to women. And that's what happened to him. a lot of men sometimes when they have daughters. They know how nasty they was, so they think them little boys going to be nasty with their daughter. But at the same time, he's on this watch, though. He need to be because he know he was a mess. And he's trying to keep her from getting in a mess because he know he was a mess, if that made any sense on that messiness. <laughs> I think that made some sense. So we just we just talking today. But I want to give you a scripture so you don't look at me funny. We're going to talk about Isaiah uh, chapter 20, uh, 56 and 10. And I'll read that in your hearing because what he talks about is not that cute in this scripture. Isaiah 56 and 10, it reads, Isaiah's watchmen are blind. They are all lack of knowledge. They are all mute, not saying nothing. Dogs, mute dogs, they cannot bark. Ain't nothing worse than a dog. You, you bought it to protect your house and he won't bark. Mm, 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 mm. That dog ain't going to stop no bad. Mm, mm. He can't even bark. They cannot bark. They lie around and dream. And they love to sleep. Come on. Are you, what are you, are you watching your life? You got to watch your life. You got to go get a job. You got to go, you got to get clothes. You got to wash your clothes. You got to take care of your house. You got to pay bills. You got to get insurance. You got to make sure you got driver's license. You got to take care of your children. You got to take care of your husband. You got to, my God, it's a lot to be watching nowadays. It's time to watch. You got to watch what you're doing driving. Can't be on them phones. Oh, let me find my right hand if you can't find yours. Oh. I'm, I'm beating myself and trying to stay off of that phone while I'm driving. My God, y'all pray for me because I'm praying for you all. We got, we got to be careful. So you have to watch. You have to go out of the house watching. Women, late when it's dark, get your gas early in the morning. Ain't no need of being at no gas station pumping no gas at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. It's too dangerous now. This is for all city. Everybody needs to watch and pray. This is what he's talking about. The watchmen are blind. We got to stop being blind to church and regular life stuff, if that makes sense. We got to join hands. We got to pray. We got to love on each other. We got to talk to each other. Church folks, we got to do better. And I know they've been beating up the pastors here in South Bend, Indiana, because it is something going on. I don't know what it is, and I don't really have time to really figure it all out, but I know we're separated. I know we don't get together and do nothing as pastors. And then pastors have different directions that God takes them. We can't go and attend everything that everybody wants you to do because God have you on a different path sometime. And that don't mean that you don't want to get together with pastors, but pastors are busy. If they're, if they're doing what I'm doing, I'm busy. I'm busy. I deal with my church. I take care of my church. And one thing about One Lord, One Spirit Outreach, you can ask my members. Ain't none of them struggling. I guarantee ain't none. If you're struggling in my church, it's something wrong with you because I got businesses inside of my church, two business, one over 40 years and one going on seven years now. So I, I don't know why my church would be, and they don't even, <laughs> my church is so blessed. I'm telling you, they buying new cars and houses right now, best friends, beautiful homes. Come on. My church is doing excellent. And I'm not boasting or bragging, but the scriptures, you can quote me. He said, the oil fall on the pastor's head, to his beard, to his skirt, and to the congregation. So if my congregation is sitting up in there and they hungry, it's something wrong with them. Because one thing about me, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to help you. That's what I do. The first uh, commandment is love God with all thy heart, thy mind, and thy soul. The second is just as great. Love thy neighbor as, as thyself. So if my church people are struggling, you in my church, it's something wrong with you. Because there's no way no one is struggling in my church. They all got jobs or two. They all got new homes, new cars, beautiful homes. Come on, somebody. That's what a pastor's church supposed to look like. 
It is not all about me, 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 me. It's about you, 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 you. That keeps me blessed. Do that make sense? So I'm the watchman over my child. And I, y'all already know. Y'all already know. I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped looking for the devil. I'm trying to find anyone that's going through something with the devil. Y'all let me know. Point me on him. I got you. I got you. Do that make sense? Well, God bless you all. Just a good little hot word today. Watch over your life. Watch over your family. Watch over your church. Watch over your people. Come on, watch over your children. Watch over your job. Watch over your car. My God, it's time to watch. The Bible said, watch and pray. My God, Lord, I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you know I, you know I love you. Watch it, looking and praying. That's what you have to do. Well, God bless you all on this Saturday. Have a beautiful day. Be safe out there. And remember, try to change somebody's life and just instead of yours. Do that make sense? I love you all. Be blessed.